What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Nike Air Hirachi Bordeaux Edition, man. Coming up. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of leather, neoprene, and also rubber on the upper. As you can see where this um, light gray comes in, this is where the leather comes in. It's all throughout the shoe. On the midsole, you got that dark gray with the black hits. That's definitely a great touch. And what the black is, it's like an airbrush black, not just a painted on black. And that gives it that 90s retro feel style. That's what really made me gravitate towards these shoes. You can see it all throughout the kick that black um, airbrush look and then as you can see you got the Bordeaux and yellow hits and as you get towards the back of the shoe you got Nike right here this is where the rubber comes in then you got the air stitched in Bordeaux and on the medial side of the shoe is exactly like the lateral side of the shoe getting towards the lacing system of the shoe just your standard um, Nike Air Hirachi lacing this um we got this Bordeaux neoprene booty right here and as it goes all the way up to the top of the tongue you got the Nike Air Hirachi sign and teal and as far as the insole goes, the insole is all maroon and it has the Nike Air Basketball painted in black. But as you can see by the Hirachi silhouette, like you can see where the Air Jordan 7 got his inspiration from because if you didn't know, these shoes are inspired by the Nike Air Hirachis, the Air Jordan 7. As far as sizing goes with the shoe, I would suggest going an entire size up to a half size up if you have a fat or a wide foot. If you have a normal to a narrow foot, you can go true to size in these shoes. But just to double check, go to your local foot locker or local shoe store because you, you can definitely see a lot of Hirachi lows sitting on shelves. Just go and try it on before you know you take the leap and get your size and it's not the one that you necessarily need. These shoes retail at $125 and how I came across my pair was I seen these on sneaker news um, like maybe a month month and a half ago and I was always intrigued by the shoe I like that um you know that black uh, airbrush look on it I like the Bordeaux colorway and you know I just really need to have these shoes so I had my eye my ear to the streets as far as these like shoes go but I was not hearing anything so like one day I was looking and I saw these on the finish line website so then I checked to see who all had them only Finish Line and JD Sports was the major retailers with these shoes. Like, um, you could find a couple of boutiques here and there, boutique stores or whatever, but that's the only major retailers that had it. Like, you didn't see these on the Sneakers app, you didn't see these on the Nike app, um, Foot Locker, Champs, none of those places got these shoes. Only Finish Line, JD Sports, and a couple of boutiques here and there did. But, anyways, like these sat on the shelves, people weren't really interested. I don't know why, because this is a cold shoe, but. Since it sat on the shelf, I took the opportunity to use my Amazon bucks to get this shoe for free. As you guys know, I be doing studies here and there, getting money, like five, ten dollars here and there. So I had some money saved up. I used it to get some, um, I used my Amazon bucks to get some Finish Line gift cards. And, and you know, I just went in, I just went in store, got my size and checked out using the gift cards. So I only had to pay tax on these shoes. So since I got these shoes, for free, cue the video. Sacramento trying to drive in. There's Jokic, that man again. Jokic with the block shot, his second tonight. Oh! oh what a pass by Jokic! A look away, as good as it gets! You cannot beat free shoes, man. I'm glad I was able to do those studies to get the money up to buy these shoes and not have to spend virtually any money out my wallet man but as far as these shoes go these are definitely sleepers like i don't know why people like kind of passed on these but hey you know more retail shoes for me and the reason why i really really got these is because this colorway pays homage to the air jordan 7 bordeaux and if you guys didn't know the air jordan 7 pays homage to the um nike air Hirachi. so it's kind of a great you know back and forth homage paying thing or whatever so you know i always wanted the air jordan 7 bordeaux but every time it dropped or retro, I didn't have the money or, you know, I just thought they was going to go on sale and they always passed me back. The same story happened well, with me with the Air Jordan 7 Olympic. So whenever those two retro again, I got to have them in my collection. But anyways, anytime I see something like Bordeaux um, color inspired and it catches my eye, I always cop it. Like I got these. I had, I got some Saya Culture Vultures. I did a review on that. I'll put it up above if you want to check it out. But like 
that shoe caught my eye because it was on um, Bordeaux inspired. This caught my eye because it was Bordeaux inspired. Um, they made some Air Jordan 6 Bordeaux, but those didn't catch my eye like that. Like, I was like, you know what? I'm cool on that. But with these, I had to have them in the collection. Also, at 125 bucks, you can't beat it. A nice back-to-school shoe, nice shoe you can get for the kids, for yourself, and not necessarily have to break the bank like these $200 Jordans that's coming out nowadays. Now, without further ado, here's an on-foot look of the Nike Air Hirachi Bordeaux Edition. On my block, you get up here, you feeling like you made it. This for my brother's book and for the bitches watching, hating. Seen I started going up, I'm seeing unfamiliar faces. I'm too trail, if I don't fuck with you, then I could never fake it. Notice that I'm changing, making some arrangements. I've been fully focused, taking care of my creation. I love to see him look at me and smile and feel amazing. By my child, I'll take you down. There's certain shit you just don't play with, but let's get into that real shit. No, they thought I only could do drill shit. So if you don't know pain, then you won't feel this. Right. Things they couldn't deal with. I've been scarred so many times in life, so when they're telling me they care for me, don't hear it. Burying my cousin couldn't eat. I had to cry myself to sleep. I be laughing when these bitches rapping, claiming they be street. Said they smoking on my desk, so when I see them, bet it's beef. And if you ever disrespect one of my angels, y'all gon' meet. They think cause I'm a female, I can't understand the lifestyle. I got a son, he number one, a different view of life now. My ex be on my body, wish he knew he ain't my type now. They see you getting lit, then try to dick ride, tell him pipe down. Took trips by myself, take risks by myself. So if you ask me if I need for something, I don't want no help. I think about my brothers daily, sitting lonely in that cell. And for a fact, woulda got him back if niggas had a bill. I watched myself change and that was hard for me to see. I pray my kid don't never have to grow up just like me. I know they see a pretty face and just be thinking shit be sweet. But this pretty face to catch a case and flock by any means. And I like being dolo, I don't really fuck with teams. The ones you think and got your back, don't be what it seems. I love when niggas see me and tell me that I look mean, cause really they ain't. And I know you guys are asking me and my kicks why you got on this dashiki, man. I'ma give you the backstory on this. Um, around the time Black Panther 1 came out, the only way you can go in the theater and watch the movie is if you had on some African garb. Like if you ain't have on a dashiki, some beads or a head wrap or whatever, like they was turning you around in the theater, man. But I'm playing, but you already know how that went. Everybody was dressed to the nines with African garb to that uh, movie premiere or movie. And, you know, I figured, let me go ahead and join the action too. Um, it was this person selling dashikis in Chicago one day, and he had like all the colors that match um, current Jordans that came out. So when I seen this, I was like, oh man, this will go perfect whenever I do get my Bordeaux 7. So, you know, since I got a Bordeaux shoe, I figured I'd go ahead and throw on the um, dashiki for the video. So that's my short story of how I got this dashiki and why I'm wearing it in this video. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite Nike Air Hirachi colorway. It could be these, could be the Screaming Greens, the All Whites, All Blacks, whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we could chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. Takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.